Hello and welcome. We're here with uh, Glenn Sanders. Good to be here, Peter. I'm very happy to bring you today the Oasis uh, recorder mixer, which allows us to take a Nomad, which normally would be used in a sound bag, and make it a very, very powerful mixer recorder for sound card use. All right, so it takes the Nomad and makes it into a, rec a recorder slash mixer. Takes what would normally be a recorder and turns it into um, something that could be used on a card. Well, the Nomad is is designed to be a mixer recorder. Mm -hmm. That is its primary function. However, it was never really designed to be a mixer recorder to be used on a sound card. That was always the realm of the Diva. And what we decided to do as part of our development of the Diva 32, which will be coming out later this year, is we decided to make a smaller version of the Diva 32 that utilized the Nomad as the mixing and recording audio processing engine for this smaller platform. So I guess the first question I would have is, the Oasis by itself won't do anything. That is correct. The Oasis must be used with Nomad 12. And only Nomad 12. Only Nomad 12, yes, that is correct. So if you have a, uh, a lesser Nomad, uh, you can upgrade it to the 12? Absolutely, Peter. You can take a Nomad Lite, Nomad 10, and get that upgraded all the way to Nomad 12, in which case you can utilize the Oasis panel, as well as the graphical user interface, which is really a tremendous uh, mixing uh, mixing engine and device for sound card use. So take, take me through some of the inputs and outputs on that. Of course. The Nomad by its nature is a 12 track recorder. It has six mic line inputs, all with NeverClip. And NeverClip, of course, is our expanded dynamic range uh, input giving 100, 136 dB of dynamic range. So you've got something that eliminates the compressor and limiter distortion that you would see in non never clip inputs. We also have four line level inputs, analog inputs, as well as eight AES inputs, and one of those inputs can also be AES 42. So utilizing the Nomad, we're able to connect that via a serial port connection to the control surface, the Oasis, and also connect it up to our monitor. And basically this monitor is all self-contained. There's no separate computer here. So the three pieces of hardware you well, have. Wait, 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 let's, let's be clear. That, that monitor is a PC. Well, that is correct. All right. uh, it is all, like however, all in one. that's right, it's self-contained. Right. So there's only three pieces of physical hardware here, mm -hmm. limiting the number of cables you would use to connect these things together. The other great part about this computer that we have in this demonstration is that it has its own backup power system. So that if you were to lose power for any reason, that the computer would never stop. It would just keep going until its battery was exhausted which is good for several hours. That's great, so it's like a Windows 8 tablet. You got it at, say, Micro Center or? Well, actually, it is, it is a full uh, computer, PC computer. Uh, this is also available with Mac. Uh -huh. So if you want to use any Mac, you can use a Mac notebook, you can use a Mac Mini. Uh, it's just not a, um, I, I'm sorry, it's not an iOS device, so it has to be an actual Mac computer. But you can use it with any PC. But it is any OS X compatible. It's not like we're running in parallel. So That's right. Or boot camp. It is absolutely Native. going to run under OS X. Great. That's uh, okay. And and can, do you have to have the computer to make the Oasis work? Uh, technically, no. Okay. But if you're on a sound card, you would absolutely want it. For instance, if you wanted to take Oasis and take it into an insert car along with Nomad, you can do that. And you would utilize the meters on the display of Nomad, right. and you can utilize the faders, you can utilize the PFL functionality that it has, you can utilize you know, all the basic things, headphone monitoring, uh, you can utilize banks, which allows us to utilize the motorized faders 
in a way that even in an insert car, you could easily mix more than eight tracks. What about EQ? Can you EQ quickly on this? Uh, by its nature, Nomad does not have EQ. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does have high pass filter. It has two notch filters per channel. So it is quite well equipped for any type of recording that you would want to do. Uh, but the Diva is the product we have that has three bands of EQ mm -hmm. on each channel. So, you know, with Oasis, you're able to, again, take the Nomad and utilize it almost in any situation, you know, going from sound bag to sound cart. And if you looked at it on the sound cart and you said, okay, there's only eight faders on this, because it does use motorized faders and immediately allows you to configure uh, three banks of those, you have the ability to instantly go to up all the channels that are available on the input of Nomad and very quickly mix them or move them from bank to bank. So take, take me through that. So I can have all my inputs um, in, in groups of eight on, you know, according to the faders, right? Exactly. Uh, very simply how it works. If I wanted to take a digital input and just pull that over here to bank three, fader one, I've just done that. I just pull it over. In fact, if I want to just touch the screen, and pull it over, I can do that as well. Because everything is touch screen. Mm -hmm. And if I touch the bank select on the screen, as you see, the faders will follow suit. Yeah, everything is interactive. It's all touch screen. If I want to go to my output mix, I want to select cross points on my output mix, I want to go to my track mix, I want to go to my headphone mix, I want to put in track names, I can do that. Uh, because you can make you can name all of your tracks, you can colorize your tracks. Uh, it's all so straightforward, there's no knobs, there's no buttons, all you have to do is touch the screen. I mean, you can almost mix just by thinking about it and saying, oh, I want, I need to deal with the time code. Okay, so you touch the time code, and there's the time code. You can jam time code, user bits. If I want to enter metadata, I just touch the scene take note. I can enter my metadata, I can do that without a keyboard, it'll pop up a keyboard. Or you could have a keyboard and a mouse if you want. Or you can have a keyboard and a mouse if you want, exactly. So, you know, just by realizing that I want to do something and touching it, you're there. There's no faster interface in the field for you to be able to mix and do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to space, I mean, the great part about this system is the Oasis control surface is relatively small, but it is so powerful, allowing you to immediately select uh, bus routing from any channel to any output or any track. It allows you to configure any input instantaneously, adjusting everything from whether it's mic line, 48 volt, phase invert, uh, really anything you would want to get to is immediately accessible just by touching the screen or touching some hardware buttons that are on the panel. And show me, um, sh show me like uh, how to make different output mixes. So if I want. Oh to sure. Well, all I would have to do is just touch output mix, and let's say on output bus six, I'd like to take analog input one and two. I'm taking them pre fader, and I'm going to send them out of that bus. Wow. I mean, it's it's that simple. If I want to go to output bus five, and maybe I want. Uh, digital 5, 6, 7, and 8. Right now they're uh, pre-fader. I'm going to make them post-fader. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a output mix of digital 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's all there is right. to it. You know, it is just so, again, fast and straightforward. And track assignments? Track assignments are the same thing. If I just touch track assign to track 1, uh, I'm feeding uh, input 1 to track 1. Let's say I come over here to track two, and I want to feed input one and two to track two. Also, on the panel, you get a blue LED for track one and track two, uh -huh. showing you just by looking at the panel that that channel is routed to your mix. The idea here is that if for any reason the computer went away, right. you can still mix. You can still know what's routed. And how, yeah. how do I route the mix track to my, my mix output to a track? Uh, all you do is just down here, uh, you can route the first four outputs to a track. So if I just want to go to track four, and I want to assign output one to that, uh, 
it's done. That's it. That, and that's that's it. it. Yes. You decide whether you want the slate mic to go to that track, whether you want tone to go to that track, whether you want a compressor on that track, whether you want tracks to have the uh, never clip attenuation. Again, it's all straightforward. It's right there for you. Yeah, um, the best part is that this is not an expensive interface. Uh, if you own a, um, a Nomad 12, you're able to get the Oasis for about $3,500 American less price. Of course, that will vary in other countries, but for the power of the system and the flexibility of the system, we just think it's just a, a pretty amazing value, and we think it'll be on a lot of sound cards. Now, does that 3500 include the computer? It does not include the computer. Uh, the customer would decide whether they wanted to use a computer they already own, mm -hmm. or whether they would want to purchase a computer from their dealer, or just buy one from the store. It doesn't matter where they get the computer. Right. And again, there's a lot of choices available, because if you want to get you know, any kind of combination of computer and monitor, uh, you can choose whatever you want to choose sure. because you might have a very small cart and you don't want to have a monitor this big. You could even use a seven inch tablet if you like. Right. So it gets to be a very personal thing. Now what I want to show you here mm -hmm. is that we're able to assign everything, but we're also able to move menus from one place to another and control the size of those menus. So all I have to do to do anything, if I come over here and I'll go to the meter menu, and maybe I want the meter menu to exactly line up with the faders, I can just pull this close. Everything is meant to size. And now I have this you know, right above each one of the meters. Mm -hmm. So I can do anything I want with that. I can also, again, control the size of the home screen, uh, there's other things you can do here and put up. I mean, if you wanted to, you know, have a browser open that would allow you to get to Ambient's timecode system, sure. you can do that. I mean, there's so many possibilities. Is this is, is this a CPU intensive program? Or no, is not just at all. Information. There's no audio going to the computer. Well, that's exactly right, Peter. Um, the great part about this system is we have Nomad, which is a very very reliable system not only reliable because of the MARF recording that it has that uh, really has proven itself in being a system that allows you to be confident in what you're recording, that you can always get it back, but all the audio goes through here and none through the computer itself. So that if for any reason the computer had a problem, you're not going to lose any audio at all. Mm -hmm. Another great function that we've added here is a player. Uh, there's playback in the system where you can take mp3 files, you can take WAV files, you can bring them in over the internet, you can bring them in through a, uh, a memory stick, whatever you have, and this can provide playback while you're recording. And does it play back through the computer or through the Nomad? It plays back from the computer, mm -hmm. which you can assign to any of the return ports of the Nomad so that you're able to take that audio and do anything you want with it, mix with it, record it, uh, put it out to a speaker. Uh -huh. uh, so you now have recording and playback capability in the system. Huh. Another feature that this has is it interfaces with Movie Slate. There's software in the computer that talks directly to Movie Slate so that if someone on Movie Slate enters scene, take, or note metadata, that it automatically would go into the system and be available in what we call the next area, so that when you go into record, uh -huh. that that becomes the metadata for the next take. So it's a really, really neat feature, so that you don't have to interact with the people on set as much as you normally would to agree on whatever scene and take it would be. You just see this come into the next screen, and you can also set it up so that you have to accept it or it can automatically come in where it's just there when you hit the record key. And that, that's great, and I, I assume you'll open it up to any other manufacturers that want to integrate their network. Well, that's right. Ambient um, or? Yeah, Ambient is already working with us, great. as well as, as Movie Slate. So, you know, we want to be very, very open about our gear and our system. You know, part of the reason that we are doing things the way we're doing it 
is we realized that you know the world is a very different place than when we came up with the original diva mm -hmm. that you know now we have to work with wi-fi devices with bluetooth devices with all kinds of recording devices and by having this type of interface we're able to very easily uh, put software in the system that stays on the computer so we know it's not going to interfere with our recording but we're able to access the world through this system and I think for the customer and for future development I think that's a really cool thing yeah and so when people um, need something bigger if they outgrow this the Diva 32 is the next step up well that's right Diva 32 uh, has a very similar interface almost identical so if you know how to use this product, you'll know how to use Diva 32. The other thing that we have coming out is something called the Nomad Touch. That is this software running in a more simple uh, format on a small seven inch tablet, and that would live in the sound bag. And that would give you the ability to do literally everything that this does, have the big meters, easy entry of metadata. Um, it integrates everything together so that whether you go from you know, sound bag to mini cart to big production card on a big TV show or motion picture, you're going to have a similar interface that's going to give you the highest quality audio in the most flexible way of controlling it that you can buy. Uh, tell us about any ZaxNet integration. Well, there's full uh, integration of ZaxNet with this. The Nomad itself is a ZaxNet transmitter, so it's going to be broadcasting IFB audio, time code, and transmit a remote control. So if you have Zaxcom wireless, you can tell the system that the input trim knobs for each channel on the panel are going to control the preamps in the wireless transmitters that are on the show, which is exactly what you want because certainly without that ability, if you had some sort of you know audio that wasn't loud enough or was hitting limiters, you'd want to control that live in real time and this system makes that absolutely simple to do. And will you be able to control receiver parameters from this? Yes, there is a full interface to the RX-12 in this system. Only the RX-12, not individual receivers? Only the RX-12 for the moment. Okay. So you can plug an RX-12 into the Oasis and you'll be able to bring up a menu when we deliver the product and control receiver frequencies, transmitter frequencies, uh, all the basic parameters that you would need to get to. This product is almost ready to ship. The Nomad Touch, as well as our RX200, will all ship mid-September. Awesome. Glenn, thanks for bringing it by. Thank you, Peter. Always a pleasure.